Hello everyone, this is Melanie and Melanie B's Creative Studio. And before I get started today, I just wanna remind you to please subscribe to my channel. I have lots of videos ready and waiting to be published for paint by numbers and diamond paintings. Very soon, I'm gonna bring you one or two other hobbies and as if we didn't have enough, right? Um, and so I want you to be sure you don't miss anything. So I've even made it easy by putting a little subscribe button down here. So all you have to do is click it and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I appreciate you guys for doing that. So what is in front of me right now? This company reached out to me. They are a China-based company and they have paint by numbers, diamond paintings, cross stitch, beaded cross stitch, and I think that was it on their, on their website. I told them, I said, if you would like to send me one of each category, I'll look at all of it because I have been a cross stitcher. In fact, cross stitch is what started me in crafts when I was eight years old. So I was like, you know, I wouldn't mind delving back into cross stitch when I'm in bed at night, you know, and I'm just trying to relax and wind down or whatever, or, you know, if we go somewhere, it's easy to take with you, that kind of thing. May not ever happen, y'all know me, but, so what I have in front of me are two painting kits, two paint by number kits, and a diamond painting kit, which I haven't opened or anything, um, a beaded cross stitch kit, and a cross stitch kit. So I am not gonna do all these in one video since they are different types. But right now we're gonna focus on the paint by numbers, then I'm gonna do the diamond painting, and then we're gonna talk about these cross stitch projects. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this smallest one. I got the paints out and I went ahead and swatched them. So I'd be ready when I open this. This piece is a 30 by 40. So it's smaller than our normal paint by numbers. So, you know, I really do like that because I get overwhelmed sometimes with 16 by 20s. So here is our rolled canvas and our gorgeous paint kit. You guys, I mean, I think that, oh, here we go. That is like Easter rainbow pastel heaven. I mean, it is gorgeous. So we've got our paintbrushes here and we have a photo reference. So this is the image that we're gonna be doing on this painting. Isn't that adorable? So I got one that I thought wouldn't take me a hundred years to paint. Please, y'all. I'm gonna stop sleeping because because I need that extra eight hours every day to do everything that I want to do in a day. But oh my gosh, y'all. Oh. All right, so we're gonna look at the canvas first. Now it does have a reference guide. Yay, and it is rolled. Now I'm gonna say this. Uh, help me. Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my Contigo on one corner. <laughs> Keep it opened. All right, let me get a little base over here. Put some weight down on the corner. So you can see it's not very big at all. And I love that. I said it already, but I love that. There are black lines and black numbers, but they're not like the super dark black. It might be a little struggle to cover only because I have this pastel yumminess. I don't wanna look at the swatch yet because that's a surprise. Look, y'all. I mean, this is like <sighs> sherbet ice cream flavors that I don't even know. Oh my God, they're gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Delicious, yummy, delicious, nice. Okay, sorry. All right, so let's look at the reference guide real quick, make sure it's printed clearly, and it is. And you guys, it is almost the same size as the actual painting. So it's pretty clear and it's very easy to read. So hallelujah. Now I don't know if this company since folded canvases, you know, I don't know if they're like some of the other companies I've mentioned that were more on the less expensive end that will send a folded and a, and a rolled and you know, all that. I don't know. I'm only going to have two to go by today. And the two that I ordered have, are both rolled. So this is just my first impressions. Um, I'm not affiliated with them. They did ask me to collaborate, but I'm not, you know, I am just reviewing what they've sent me. Uh, and I did get to choose the designs that I picked out, so that was good. All right, so let's talk about our yummy, delicious palette. So I was very impressed 
with the paint coverage. Now I want you to look, now 13, I'm gonna tell you, that paint pot had been popped open and shipping. So it was dried out. I haven't been able to swatch it yet. I've added some Flow Aid. I'm, I'm gonna contact, I haven't even contacted them yet. It was late last night, but, um, but I'm gonna contact them and tell them that this whole strip had been smashed or something and it was popped, some of these were popped open. So I worked with some of them, but anyway, let's just look at this really closely. Now, make sure my light's up here. The only ones that are semi-opaque or transparent, and really this is the only transparent one, which is that fluorescent pink that we all know and I don't love, so I'll probably add some white and tone that down. This one is uh, transparent to semi-opaque, somewhere in there. And the whitish color is semi-opaque. Uh, a couple of these are kind of semi-opaque. I mean, I, I feel like it depends on the opening because the smaller the opening, the better you can cover with one coat than if it's larger. You, you notice it more on a large opening. So beautiful. I mean, like the paints were very opaque for a pale and pastel palette. Oh God, said that three times fast. Pale pastel, pastel. <laughs> a pale pastel palette. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all, they say you're losing your mind when you talk to yourself. What do you, what is it called when you laugh to yourself? <laughs> Psychotic? God, I don't even want to think about it. Okay, so this is this palette. Incredible. So what I've been doing behind the scenes that you guys haven't been able to see is that I've had a lot of people say, okay, well, you've done the first impressions, but now what is it, you know, how does it work overall? So what are your, what are your opinions overall for a painting from a certain company. So what I've been doing is I have been selecting one painting from each of the packages I get and I've started doing some painting on it. And that way, so now I'm gonna end up with like 50 works in progress, but that way I can gesso it, I can work on it, I can get a serious like overall opinion on what I think of the product you know, overall. So that is something I've been doing. That way, eventually, I will start coming back with updates on, let's say, Everyday Crafts. I'm gonna say, okay, I've got an update for Everyday Crafts. I've been working on this piece and this is my opinion of it overall. So I hope that'll help you guys because I know that when I am recording, I am spending a lot of time, you know, in my home doing the housewife stuff, but also um, I'm recording certain techniques and it requires certain paintings. And so, you know, I'm not able to paint. Works in progress are a thing for me because I'm not able to paint an entire project because I just don't have time. You guys know that paint by numbers, they take, if you were just working on it consistently, they can take a month. So for me to only have, you know, an hour maybe in a day to work on a piece, um, besides recording, besides life, you know, um, I just don't get around to finishing a lot of projects. So having said that, this is a really nice kit. Very inexpensive, very reasonably priced. I will send you to their website in the link below. But next, let's talk about this second painting and see if we, you know, see if I feel like it's consistent. And, um, and let's do that right now. I'll go ahead and get it out and lay it out for us. And then we'll talk about it. Very dark black lines and numbers. Again, we have a very pastel palette, which I'm gonna show you in just a second. This has a reference guide also. Fabulous. Now, once again, I cannot promise you that all of their paintings have a reference guide because I only have gotten these two. All right, so we have our two photo references and paintbrushes. And we'll set those aside for a minute. And let's talk about this palette. So last night when I was swatching these, I swear it felt like it was like 98 o'clock. And um, <laughs> I was so flipping tired, but I was like, I have to swatch these paints. So I was sitting there watching, you know, older episodes of Supernatural and binge watching and, and swatching. Oh, that's another one of those tongue twisters. Been watching and swatching. So anywho, this palette is also fabulous. And look at it. Just look at it. Stop what you're doing and look at it. All right, seriously, look. <sighs> oh, and this beautiful peachy color. So we do have um, a couple of 22 because that is the white. You know, we got a lot of it. 
So they're definitely making sure that we have all the paints. Um, this one, it seems like, had a couple of dried out paints too because the pop, the tops were popped on it. And I don't know what these companies are doing during shipping, but I do know that one day I had a new, I have a new camera in my front door, a security camera, because my mail carrier is a witch. I mean, literally, I think she flies in on her broom. I don't know where she keeps all the packages in the mail, but she throws my packages on the porch. Like my porch is 12 feet deep. How hard is it to walk across the front porch and lay my packages on the table at the door? So if she's doing that, delivering, imagine what is happening happening to our packages while they're in transit in other companies, at customs. And I mean, y'all, uh, yeah, no. So my male lady and I, we, we do not get along and she avoids me at all cost. Okay, but let's talk about this watch guy. Don't y'all love how I switch gears so fast? <laughs> y'all, I sound like I'm on speed today. I kind of am. Here's my coffee. I just finished drinking it. I'm lit. Uh but i only have energy in the mornings so i have to do like five thousand things when i wake up or i run out of energy and then i'm doomed okie dokie paint freaking fantastic look at the palette y'all look at the palette i don't even know if there's a transparent color here there's not there's this white of course is like semi-opaque this one is slightly semi-opaque, but the rest of these paints are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Did you hear me? I said gorgeous. Okay, just kidding. I'm moving it around because my lights, I don't want to get my lights up in the you know camera, but I want to make sure the lights are on it. They're fabulous. So my two experiences with this company have been very positive. Oh, I didn't tell you. Okay, so the canvas is really thin and plasticky feeling on the top, but it's got the linen on the back. We get these a lot, you guys know. When you order the, the less expensive paintings, you are gonna get what you pay for. So, you know, there's a little wrinkling, but again, let me, let me show you something here. So if there's wrinkling here, and I stretch this piece on a stretcher bar, do you see how it pulls tight and those wrinkles are gone. Let me pull it both directions. You can see. See, there's no wrinkles once it's been stretched. So if I take this down to my sketchboard and I put my gesso on it and I've pulled it really tight, those should go out without having to iron. I will be doing an ironing video, guys. I promise. I literally have like 50 ideas for videos. So I'm working on them. I promise. But you can see the thinner ones, yes, they might be cheaper, but they're also real easy to stretch. All right, you guys. So my first impressions of the paint by numbers from Everyday Crafts is very good. I mean, I have, I'm very happy with these kits. I think they're gonna be freaking adorable. So one of these I'm gonna pick to start working on just to see how I like the overall project. All right, so that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you being here and please don't forget to subscribe. Remember, little button right here, just hit it. Just go ahead and do it right now so you don't forget. And, please go join me on Patreon. I have exclusive videos over there. I have early release videos over there. We have fan requests because I can no longer take requests on the Facebook group and YouTube because there's 8,000 people. And um, so I have limited the requests to Patreon members because I have to just kind of decide which ideas I'm gonna go with. Okay guys, I will see you back soon, I promise. Thank you as always for watching.